ingredients. Welcome to the Western Princeville Ocean Resort Villas. Today we're going to be preparing an ahi poke wraps, which we feature on our dinner menu at Nanea Restaurant and Bar. First ingredient, we take some fresh diced ahi, small diced, yellowfin tuna in this case. Ahi we catch from local fishermen on Kauai and on the island of Oahu. To that we add some fresh local red onions, green onions from Oahu, some ogo, which is a seaweed that they harvest and raise here in Hawaii off the shores. You find it in shallows of the sandy beaches. To that we'll add some red chili flakes. How much you add is up to you. I like it a little spicy. That, to that we add uh, some uh, red Hawaiian salt and then a little bit of mayonnaise. What we're looking for is uh, similar to a spicy ahi poke you find in uh, sushi bars. Now with poke, I mean, there's many different variations. You can add avocado, mango, papaya. It's endless the number of variations you can create. So there, our ahi poke is mixed well. Then we would take some ahi blocks, which is the same fish, but it's a higher grade part of the fish. We would crust it in a little bit of shichimi togarashi, which is a Japanese Cajun spice. You can definitely substitute Cajun spice if you don't. As for the fish, we would, uh, you can substitute salmon. Salmon works really well for this dish. We would then put the ahi into a hot saute pan, about five to 10 seconds on each side, just to get a good sear on it. While we're doing that, we can add this rice. What we've taken is rice, mix it with a little rice wine vinegar and sugar, formed it into these little bundles. We put that on some little nori strips that we use. Turn our ahi. We would then take a little bit of the ahi poke. Now the concept behind this dish was really my love of poke, rice, and sushi in general. And so we kind of took it apart and put it back together in a fun format. One more turn on the ahi. At Nanea Restaurant, we really try and feature local fresh products and really do the ingredients justice by enhancing their flavors rather than covering them up. So it's that fast. We've seared our ahi on all four sides. Place it on your cutting board. Tuck your fingers in. And you want three good slices. So you can see the nice red color of the fish. Definitely means that it's quite fresh. That we've placed each slice on top of the ahi poke. We would then take a little bit of tobiko. Tobiko is a flying fish roe. It adds a little bit of texture and definitely some color. A little bit of amazu shoga, which is a Japanese pickled ginger for a garnish, real similar to a sushi bar. And now what we have is some microgreens that we get from Kilauea Farms, locally grown for us. It's a baby daikon radish sprouts. And with that, we have our completed dish. This is our ahi poke wraps at Nanea Restaurant and Bar. Now that we've completed our ahi poke wraps, we recommend eating it in the pool.